I'm Kelly Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 706. On Monday's show, we talked briefly about the Droid getting an update. At the time I mentioned it, we were only aware that multi-touch was coming to Maps. Now we know that Droids are getting Android 2.1 and it'll be rolling out this week. In addition to Maps, it'll include multi-touch in the browser and gallery, a 3D gallery, voice recognition, apps for news and weather, a better music app, and Google Goggles. I can't say I was too thrilled about Google Buzz, but I am very excited about Google's most recent announcement. They're going to test what happens when they take a community, or several communities, of 50 to 500,000 people and offer them 1 gigabit per second speeds. We're not talking about commercial service here, we're talking home use, baby. Google says the reasoning behind this is that we want to see what developers and users can do with ultra high speeds, whether it's creating new bandwidth intensive killer apps and services or other uses we just can't imagine yet. They'll be opening up their pipes and information to share with ISPs. This has a ton of potential and it's where I'd like to see more of Google's resources go. I'd love to hear where your imagination takes you. What could we do with one gigabit per second speeds? Leave your comment on geekbrief.tv 706. Wild Planet offers kids a variety of toys to get in touch with their inner spy. The latest announcement takes advantage of kids' technical tendencies and ability to create. It's called the Spy Video Tracker. It has a camera with an LCD remote. It also has what you can think of as its own app store. In addition to the hardware, the tracker comes with a couple of programs ready for the user to lock and load. With these programs, called routines, the tracker might track someone, play audio, who knows. Even better, new routines can be created and uploaded for other tracker owners to use. It's all about sharing the love. It'll be available for $120 in October. I'm gonna leave you for the week with a video that I hope will make you smile. Lee and Lee, a chassis manufacturer, created a specific unit meant to be ideal for benchmarking without the hassle of using a regular PC for that purpose. What stands out about this and makes it brief worthy is the video. If they were selling this thing, I'd buy it just because of the video. It's called the T1 Pit Stop Spider. Tonight, for the first time, we will track and capture on camera a new species of spider, which has evolved from the ubiquitous high-tech industry developed on a small island off the Chinese coast called Taiwan. The creature was found and identified in a factory and has tentatively been called the Lien Li T1 Pit Stop. Follow us on our journey and prepare to be amazed. The Lien Li T1 Pit Stop lurks silently and patiently during the day, but at night comes to life and scurries from one dark shadow to the next, biding its time in wait for the next meal. But in a city, there are lots of dangers, even for something so heavily armored. So this amazing creature, which has adapted over thousands of years, has the most useful tactic used throughout the animal kingdom. It freezes. That is to say, when a beam of light catches this most silent of predators, it stands completely still and looks exactly like a metal frame stand. The unique adaption alerts it to the presence of danger, causing a chemical reaction within that makes the body rigid as pure aluminium, and the animal changes from a deadly predator to something completely harmless. In fact, so harmless that you could just grab it and use it as an open-air benching case for your mini ITX computer. The frame can support a full-sized ATX power supply, a mini ITX motherboard, and an open-top frame for convenient benchmark tweaking. The enticing deep red anodized aluminum color serves to attract the eye with a cautionary note. One should never forget that anything with the color red in nature serves as a warning of possible danger. We will catch it now and head back to the lab to see how it responds as a benching platform. Join us next time when we put the T1 pit stop chassis under the spotlight and highlight more fully all of its features and capabilities. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Have a great weekend. Google goggles. But I am very excited about Google's most Google, Google.